Hello you guys and welcome to Valentina Pie's YouTube channel. So I have been wanting to make this video for a long time. For well, for a while, maybe not like a long, long, long time, but I've, this topic has always been um important to me. So um it's called I think it's called first person language. It may be called something different. I I will have to make sure that's correct on the internet, but I know what this is. I don't need any internet to help me know how to explain this to you guys. I just need to know the correct name of it. I think it's called that, but I'm not sure. Um, and I always do this thing called first person language. I mean, it's just, it comes naturally to me. I never say not the first person language. So like, here's an example. This has, okay, so the first person language is having to do with people with special needs, disabilities, however you like to call it, special needs, disabilities. I think it's basically the same thing, special needs and disabilities. Um, so, um, like, if you see somebody out in public and they have, ugh, let me get to my, they have a white cane which I have, and they have dark sunglasses on, like which I have when the, every time I'm basically out because of light bothers me. So um, if you see somebody with a white cane and dark sunglasses or even just a white cane, that usually means, that, that does mean the person's totally blind or legally blind, which means you can see, but just not well. It's bad, your vision's bad enough where you need a white cane. So, if you see somebody out in public that has a white cane, of, a white cane, that means the person has a disability with their eyes. So, when you're out in public, um, you don't, this is, I'm going to try to, this is hard because I'm always used to saying it the correct way. The correct way is... Over there is a person with a white cane. You don't want to say, there's a person over the... No. See, I can't even say it wrong. You don't want to say, there's a white... There we go. There's a white cane person over there. You don't want to say that. Yeah, yeah, I got it. It takes me... It, I have to concentrate to say it wrong because I'm just... I I just naturally say it correctly because um, I live my life around people with disabilities and um, me having disabilities. Um, so, anyway. So, you don't want to say... There's... The, okay. White cane person over there. Okay. You don't want to say white cane person over there because that is putting the disability first before the person. And the person, yes, the person does have that disability. But the person with the disability, goodness, this is tying my head around. <laughs> I'm not used to saying it wrong. <sighs> The person with the disability doesn't want to be looked at as their disability the first thing. There are so many things. Their disability is just part of them. Or their disabilities are just part of them. They are so much more. They have a wonderful personality, whatever their personality is. And they have things they like and dislike to do. There's just so much more than that. Whatever disability or disabilities. So like... um. Like, here's another example. Um, if you see a person, yeah, okay, so if you see a person in public using a wheelchair, okay, so the correct way of saying it is, I see a person in a wheelchair. Because see, you're saying, I see a person, and that means you're you there you know that they are actual people and you know that their disability is not all of them but if you say like if you say there's a person with 
No, if you say, okay, wheelchair person in public or over there, whatever, wheelchair person. Yeah, okay, that's wrong. Yeah, that's the wrong way. So, um, if you say that, that means you're putting their disability first. And same with if you say, there's, say, it, it goes for any disability. If you say, Down syndrome person, autistic person, um, physically disabled person, um, mentally disabled person, uh, like cerebral palsy person, um, multiple sclerosis person, a, um, ALS person. That's all wrong language. That's putting the disability, um, first before the person. And I hate it and I hate it and I hate it when people do that. And I hate that I'm actually having to say, like, the wrong way here it makes me feel bad. I mean, trust me, you guys, I do not say, other than in this video, I'm just giving examples of what's the wrong way to talk about people with disabilities. Um, it's just, it drives me nuts. It's like, if you see somebody with a disability and you know what they have, or even if you don't, you just see like something that they use as a tool, you shouldn't say wheelchair person, um, autistic person, downs person, uh, legally blind person, um, you know, um, you should say person with blindness, person with Down syndrome, a person with um, cerebral palsy, a person with autism, a person with ALS, a person with MS, a person with um, blindness. Um, you should say it like that. Because that's putting the person first before the disability. Because if you put the disability first, that's kind of like saying that's all you notice about the person. There's so much more to notice. I mean, there's so much more to notice. And especially if you get to know people with disabilities, I mean, you can find out that their personality is really awesome. And we are just, people with disabilities are just like everyone else. I mean, honestly, everyone in this world is different. Some of us have disabilities. Some of us have family issues. Some of us are blonde. Some of us are brown-haired like me. Some of us are white-skinned, black-skinned. I mean, honestly, even if you do not have a disability, you are, you are unique and special in your own way that God made you. And we all have our differences and we all have our hard time we all have our hard mountains we got to climb and for some of it's it's life life living forever and never until we die living with disabilities but for some other people it's life living forever family issues i don't know um drug issues abuse we all have our own issues that makes us different and makes us have um makes us different and have hard times and having a disability is not a bad thing it's not having a disability is not a bad thing at all um it's just the reason why i was naming some negative stuff is because having a disability is hard and that's what a lot of people think of and I'm saying that other people in this world put up with a lot of hard stuff like I said a little bit earlier abuse family issues um drug issues those are all hard things that we all have to put up with but you know you're still a wonderful person whatever you got to put up with you're a person you have a wonderful personality you are made by the most holy god 
And so everyone who is made and everyone you see, even if they do something you disagree with, try to be understanding, try to just try to be nice and just, even if you don't understand why they act the way they do, they might be having some kind of issue like at home that you don't know about. And you shouldn't make fun of people just because you can tell that they are different, like they have a disability or any of the other stuff I named. Like, honestly, we are all different. We are all different. We are all different. There's no such thing as normal in my mind. There's no such thing as normal. I hate the normal word, but I wish normal never existed. I wish... I wish the word normal never existed. Like, if you hear me talking, um, uh, if I'm talking about people with disabilities and then people that don't have disabilities, I usually call the people that don't have disabilities typical people because most people don't have disabilities. So that's why I call them typical people, not normal people. Ugh! Because I, I, I hate the word normal. I hate the word normal. It's like, no, I mean, there's no such thing as normal. Everyone's unique and different in their own ways. There's no such thing as normal. So everyone is unique and special. So there's no such thing as normal. Ugh, I hate that word. Mm. So anyway, it's just, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about this because, I mean, it's something dear to my heart. And I want to change the world of how people look at people with disabilities. Um, I don't know. Sometimes as soon as you look at somebody with a disability, some people say, I don't know. Oh, they can't walk, talk, whatever. They can't read. They can't understand. That's not true. I mean, that's not true. Everyone has their own uniqueness of whatever type of disability they have. There's such things as mild disabilities. There's such thing as severely disabil severely um this di severely disabilities severe disabilities uh tongue tie D um so you know I mean everyone has their unique case and everyone everyone with a disability can do things and smile and they have and we all have feelings and we're all made by the most holy you know you want to know something unique is adam and eve were the first people on earth and from adam and eve adam and eve they had babies and then ever and then it and then those kids had those Babies had babies and babies and babies and babies and babies until now, 2015. So you want to know a unique thing? We are all related. We are all related, even though we don't live in the same house. Um, and God made us all. So if you think about it, even though we may not know you, we may not know somebody right now, we are all, we're all family. We're all God's children and we should definitely try to be nice and understanding. And if you don't know much about people with disabilities, just learn, learn and be understanding and know that we are people and we have, and we do not deserve to be having labels put on us like people do. Um, so I hope this makes sense. Um, it's just first person language is really important to me. Um, it's, it insults me if somebody says, like, if somebody says the disability first. And I know people may not know better, but since I do know better about how to talk about people with disabilities and um, what's more appropriate and what doesn't offend people with disabilities. It, even if the person that's talking about a person with a disability and they say it wrong, it still offends me even if they may not know just because I know and 
they're talking about people who are dear to me. I love everybody with with disabilities because I know what it's like. It's it can be hard. It's also it's really hard. It's like I call my disabilities love hate relationship, honestly. Cuz I love who I am. I love my disabilities. They make me unique. They make me who I am. They're part of the way my personality is. Personality is. So I love myself for having my disabilities, but sometimes I just hate having them because if I'm in a lot of pain or if I get in a bad mood or if I'm having like little sharp neuropathic pains or little spasmy things it's like there's good and bad things about everything that's one thing i want y'all to know there's good and bad things about having a disability there's good and bad things about um i don't know everything there's good and bad things about everything so um that's one thing I wanted to put out there. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys understand. I hope, I hope this isn't too hard. I'm sorry if this is a rambly video. I tend to make these rambly videos sometimes. But I just try to get my message out to the best of my ability. And I hope y'all understand uh, and I hope you guys agree with me about the first person language thing and that we're all God's children and we should all treat each other as nicely as we can, even if we just first met somebody and maybe they came across rude to you and it's not nice, it's not right of the person to be rude, but maybe there, there's something inside of them that, you know... That's making them be rude, even though it's not right. Um, you just gotta try to... It's hard. You gotta just try to do your best. Be as godly as possible is all I can say. So anyway, bye. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'm sorry if this is a long video. Talk to y'all later and God bless.